AMIS Anonymous denial is purposive admission of complicity and total failure in providing answers to 13 key questions, Eastern Nigeria's rights and intelligentsia coalition. Nigeria, the 3rd of February 2021. The Nigerian AMIS Anonymous denial of its involvement with its immediate past chief of staff. COAS. Retired Lieutenant Jen Tuko Yusuf Buratai in the secret and most horrendous execution of six Igbo Christian soldiers inside the Abacha barracks in Abuja on Monday. The 25th of January 2021 is a clear case of purposive admission of criminal responsibility. If it is in criminal court trial, it becomes men's reapproval. We are boldly glad and happy that by year. Okorafo. A member of the coalition and originator of the information had in his phone interview with the Abuja correspondent of the Intu Center for Investigative Reporting. ICIR. Yesterday's evening. To TH February 2021. Insisted that the six Igbo Christian soldiers were secretly tried and executed and challenged the army to not only produce them alive. Hail and hearty. But also tell Nigerians and the world what actually happened including where the army kept them and why they were kept as well as whether they were tried in secret and condemned for secret execution. The coalition makes bold to say that uploading montage pictures of the slain soldiers with fake news written over same or hiring a consultancy firm to write a statement signed by an anonymous senior. Our army officer is in no way a credible and concrete reply and ordinarily should not be taken serious but owing to psychological terrorization and chronic censorship which media practitioners in the country have undergone and are still undergoing any crap from the army or government is now capable of making big headlines. That is to say that the Nigerian army has not issued any concrete and probable denial statement as far as the coalition is concerned. As a matter of fact, the Nigerian army has ended up indirectly admitting criminal responsibility in the matter. The coalition also did not issue that aspect of the statement for Nigerian army to accept or deny because falsehood. Line cover-ups and evidence destruction have been its routine and modus since 2015. Even after massacring hundreds of defenseless Easterners in 2015 and 2016. The same Nigerian army set up a root panel in 2017 and in the end claimed that no single citizen was killed in the East. Same Nigerian army has kept mute over its abduction of over 400 Obibo residents in Rivers State. This is despite concretely evidential court processes and decisions including the release of 145 of the abductees. Secretly and inhumanly thrown into solitary captivity for more than three months or since the 21st of October and early November 2020. Till today, the Nigerian army has refused to speak or release the remaining abductees unconditionally or remorsefully apologize to the victims and Nigerians and hold the perpetrators tightly accountable. On the other hand, the army is heavy mockingly commended for not declaring the names of the slain soldiers as fake names not belonging to Nigerian army or declaring their pictures as having originated from Congo DRC or Central African Republic or Burundi. Defining secret trial or court-martial. Contrary to Nigerian army's gross ignorance with regard to secret trial or court-martial. This is when like in military setting, service personnel are accused with malicious or premeditated and hateful intents and arraigned in a trial with a predetermined outcome during which all ingredients of fair hearing and trial are set a side or stifled and these include denying the accused access to defense lawyers of their choice denying them access to their family members and physicians conducting their trials outside official publicity and public knowledge Blocking or denying them right of appeal to civil courts, court of appeal and supreme court, and carrying out secret execution of the court martial convicts outside the law including without recourse to Nigeria's existing national moratorium on death penalty. 13 key questions Nigerian army failed to answer. The Nigerian army has not provided concrete answers to the following. Opening parenthesis. 1. Whether the six slain Igbo Christian soldiers and their names, religion and ethnicity exist in the army or on its records. Opening parenthesis. 2. Whether the four pictures as produced belong to the ascribed serving personnel of the Nigerian army. Opening parenthesis. 
3. Whether they were made to undergo any form of trial within the army. Opening parenthesis. 4. Whether they were tried in any manner with the stated allegations. Opening parenthesis. 5. Whether their trial, if true, was conducted in the presence of their family. Legal and medical representatives including allowing them access to lawyers of their choice. Opening parenthesis. 6. Whether the six Igbo soldiers were defended by lawyers of their choice. Opening parenthesis. 7. Whether they were allowed to exercise their right of appeal to court of appeal and Supreme Court and. 8. Whether the Nigerian army issued any public statement concerning their trial or notified their beloved ones and the public. The rest are. Opening parenthesis. 9. If they were executed. Whether it was done secretly or in the open and if in the open. Whether their lawyers, physicians, faith priests and family members were present these. If true, should have been attached with audiovisual evidence showing same. Opening parenthesis. 10. Were the Nigerian army and its immediate past COAS. Retired Lieutenant Jen Tukor Buratai derived powers to order the execution. Whether in secret or in the open. Of soldiers including the six slain Igbo Christian soldiers. Unjustly and wickedly convicted. Convicted by army court martial. Opening parenthesis. 11. If they are still alive and detained as death row inmates. Where they are being held. Condition of their health and circumstances leading to their present fate. Opening parenthesis. 12. Why the Nigerian army failed to produce them publicly. If they are still alive. Hail and hearty and 13. Why Nigerian army, in furtherance of the above, did not update Nigerians as per whether it has also secretly executed or still keeping alive another Igbo soldier convicted and sentenced to death by firing squad in Miduguri. Bonu State in January 2021 by name. Shupa Azuna Umadubuchi. Signatories. Emeka Umigbalasi, MSC, Board Chair, Into Society for Civil Liberties and Rule of Law. Prof. Anthony Ejiofor, Chairman, World Igbo Congress, USA. Prof. Uzodima Wala, President, Ala Igbo Dev Foundation, ADF. Prof. Justice Chidi, President, Concerned Elites for Better Society Initiative. Prof. Justin Akujize, Board Chairman, Equinche Research Institute, USA. Dr. Moses Uwaigwe President, Biafra Genocide Survivors Group, USA. Austin OKK, ESQ, Global Leader, Igbo Board of Deputies, UK. Kanayo K, Odeluga, MD, MPH Executive Director, Igbo League, Inc. USA. Messi Alu, Uba, PhD Executive Coordinator, Research, The Into Association of African Authors and Scholars, USA. Dr. Onyenkachi Ojiako, ESQ, Rep, Into Society for War Against Lawlessness, USA. Mazi Obi Okoli Coordinator, Congress of Igbo Leaders UK and Ireland. Dr. Lomefo Rep, Igbo Bu Igbo, IBI. Dr. Okezie Kelechi Ed, Neighborhood Environment Watch Foundation. Dr. Jerry Chidozia Chukokoro Rep, Into Solidarity for Peace and Human Rights Initiative. Comrades Chilos Godsent and Zulu Ofoelu Reps, Igbo National Council. Ezekweke Chekube Violet, ESQ, Founder, New Home Mentoring and Dev Initiative. Comrade Aloysius Atta Chair, Civil Liberties Organization, Southeast. Maazi Tochuku Ezeoke, President, Igbo Ekuni Initiative. Comrade Justin Ijeoma at Human Rights Social Dev and Environmental Foundation, HURSDEF. Comrade Vincent Ezekweme Chair, Civil Liberties Organization, Anambra State. Comrade Peter Onyegiri at Center for Human Rights and Peace Advocacy. Comrade Alex Olisa Rep, Southeast Good Governance Forum. Comrade Inanna Nelson Wafo at Foundation for Environment Rights Advocacy and Dev. Comrade Ukocha Anosia at Initiative for Ideal Dev and Emancipatory Leadership. Comrade Emeko Uche Rep, Easy Life Initiative for Rural Youths. Comrade Samuel Ijoko Chair, Human Rights Organization of Nigeria. Comrade Igobia O, Igobia Rep, Primate Salvation Initiative. Eze Uguapai Onwuka, OE, National Coordinator, Igbo Renaissance Forum.